so that on the way, because this guy doesn't say speak the word. This guy doesn't follow the shadow. This guy doesn't care about a cloth. He wants hands laid on. So Jesus said, if that is where your faith is, let's go lay hands. Healing is mine. Come on, say it. Healing is mine. Okay? Don't let it pass you by tonight. God wants us to know that he wants us well in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Huh? Now I'm gonna put I'm just gonna put a few points so know this. That will be point number one. Point number two, we have a promise. Point number three, don't limit God. And what do I mean by that? In Acts chapter five, verse fifteen it says, They took people and carried them out in the streets on beds and on stretchers with the intention that if Peter would walk by, that at least his shadow would just fall on them and they be healed. Don't limit God to, it must happen this way. You know, the guy must do this and he must spit on me and he must tell me to go jump in, you know, the healing waters of Lourdes and, you know, the blessed mother must drip blood on my face. You know, it can happen, but it don't have to happen. Don't limit God. So in Acts chapter 5, Acts 5 verse 15, we have the shadow of Peter. Okay? Shadow of Peter. Then in Acts chapter 19, verse 10, 11, and 12, it says the following. God wrought special miracles. King James, well, God wrought special miracles by the hands of the apostle Paul. So that cloths and aprons that were taken from his body were taken to the sick and laid on them. They were healed and the demons were cast out. So there we have special, don't limit God. Matthew 8, we have the centurion. Okay, the story about the centurion is the following. The Bible says a centurion, that means a man that was over a hundred people. So he was a soldier, he had a hundred soldiers under him, but he was under another man that had a thousand soldiers under him. So he came to Jesus and he said, Jesus, my servant lieth sick at home. That's all. He just says, I have a servant that's sick. Here comes Jesus, hey, let's go and heal him. This guy, uh-uh, I am a man under authority. I say to my servant, go. I say to another servant, come, and they obey. So I see that you must be of understanding of what authority is. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be made whole. Amen. Jesus turned around and he said to the disciples, I have not seen such great faith, no, not in the whole house of Israel. Go, your servant is healed. The Bible says, on the way, his servants met him and said, the little boy is healed. Yeah. They said, what time was he healed? And it was the exact time that Jesus said, go. Okay, so in Matthew 8, we have this centurion. and he said, speak the word. Speak the word only, okay? So we jump to Mark chapter 5. There is a man, Jairus by name. And the Bible says, he came to Jesus and said, you know, my little daughter lieth at home at the point of death. Come lay your hands on her so that she may live and she shall be healed. So Jesus said, right, let's go. Here they go, the whole procession. Now you must understand, it's Jesus, it's the 12, it's Jairus plus his group, plus it's the crowds. So the crowd is getting bigger and bigger. Jesus said, let's go. So they're on the way. Because this guy doesn't say speak the word. This guy doesn't follow the shadow. This guy doesn't care about a cloth. He wants hands laid on. So Jesus said, if that is where your faith is, let's go lay hands. On the way, the Bible says, and a little woman who had an issue of blood 12 years long came in the crowd and touch the hem of his garment. Because she said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment. Now you must want to know. Here's now a guy in Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5, he says, lay your hands. So Jesus says, let's go. On the way, here comes a little woman. She stops the whole procession. She says, uh-uh, uh-uh, touch the garment. 
Remember in John chapter 2, there is Mary, the blessed mother. Okay? And uh, she says, Jesus, the wine ran up. He says, woman, it's not my time. She says, ah, whatever he says. Now it's not a touch. It's not a hymn. It's not a cloth. It's not a shadow. It's not a speaking the word only. When he speaks, what he says, just do what he says. So Jesus says, fill up the water pots. So they fill up the water pots. Think of Mark chapter 10. The Bible says there was a man at the, at the, at the gate begging, you know, by the wayside. Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus. And the Bible said, when he heard that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by, he started shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The Bible says, and the disciples stopped him and said, shh. And then he cried louder, Jesus, son of David, have mercy. The Bible said, Jesus stopped and said, call him. The Bible said, he threw his cloak off and he came and he said, what do you want? And he said, I want to see. Jesus said, go and wham.